if if I'm a volunteer who cares about foster care, cares about adoption, cares about that community, um, maybe I'm not living it right now within my home, but I feel very called to, connected to supporting individuals who are, which is huge. I'm going to have a hard time supporting them well, and they're going to have a hard time letting me support them in the ways that they need. The reality is... I'm going to be less helpful, even with the greatest intentions, if I have no idea what they're walking through and what their needs actually are. So that means I need to know a thing or two about trauma because they are parenting and caring for a child impacted by trauma. I am better able to serve them, to love them, and to care for them if I've done the work to learn about what they're going through. And that doesn't mean you have to know everything about parenting or everything about trauma, but have a willingness to dive in. It's really, really huge because families are gonna be less prone to saying yes to your help if you're gonna be too like freaked out or overwhelmed or confused when you're stepping into their, their circle to care for them. For communities at large, I think some really great resources. I know the the TCU with the Trust-Based Relational Interventions content, they've got a lot of great information and content out there. I think it would actually be very equipping if, if a couple people on staff or a couple volunteers were trained and equipped to that level to then help bring it and infuse it within their community. Me and Krista Petty with America's Kids Belong, we developed the Made to Belong series content. When we knew we needed some trauma content, we thought, well, who do we speak to first? Who is the voice to? Where do we see the biggest gap of where there's really good trauma content for this specific role or person? And we felt like there was definitely a gap for the faith community at large, right? There's a lot for parents. There's a lot for like clinicians, therapists like myself, but a little less so for the general community caring for these families. And so when we designed the Made to Belong content, that's who we were really trying to speak to is the faith community. And we tried to equip you to send your backbone of the faith community, your leadership, your staff or whatnot through this content, right? To let them really digest it and then let that infuse through the volunteers.